you're saying that um, that you didn't like sc school, like that you're at the principal's office, um, that a lot of the, the content didn't work for you, um, Jake, um, the way it was done, um, because you, you're a highly active person. Um, so you managed to stay in there though, right? Like what damage do you think that has done for you? Or do you think there's any damage or you um, have, did you just persevere and get through that or what made you put up with that situation? Yeah. So uh, I, I very much have, have ADD and um, I mean, actually I, I, I wouldn't say that I didn't like school. Um, you know, I, I actually really like going to school, seeing my teachers, my friends, you know, um, but it was just class. I mean, I could not sit through it. <laughs> you know, it was, it was constantly five minutes in, I'd be looking at the clock doodling, like, and I, you know, walk out of a 50 minute class and be like, oh man, like I paid attention for like maybe five or six of those minutes. And, you know, that it, it doesn't seem like a big deal, but you know, then when you get home and, and, you know, you're cramming to kind of catch up on all the stuff that you spaced out on it, you know, it causes a lot of stress. Um, so I think that that's one one way in particular um, how schools, uh, you know, could definitely improve is just by recognizing that, uh, you know, just because a kid isn't paying attention doesn't mean that they're like not interested. It doesn't mean that they don't like care. Not so it sounds like you loved your friends, right? You loved your teachers, right? Mm -hmm. You were happy about the content, really. I mean, like the subject subject. It was just the way it couldn't keep you engaged. So. If you were to think of a learning environment or a way to learn where you would have been engaged 100% of the time, what do you think that could have looked like? Yeah, and if, to answer that question, I think it's important to step back and, and realize that human learning has existed way before the existence of the schoolhouse and the current model that we're in right now. And so um, learning, and this is, you know, this is Montessori, Holt, this is Gray, as, you know, when work becomes play, that is when we learn. And when work is no longer play, that's when, when the learning stops. And so, you know, you, you see that you can't force somebody to, to learn something really. I mean, they might cram for an exam. They might maybe even cheat on that exam. And the next day they forget all the content that they learned. And so when I envision that, you know, that ideal learning system, instead of like in the confines of an education system, to me, it really looks like one where, students are exploring. And the other thing is, is social learning is, is a really key component as well. I mean, um, when students are sharing collective curiosity, that's when the learning happens. And so, I mean, just a, a lot less punitive. I mean, there's something about the way we're accustomed to think about education where go to the principal's office, you're wrong. You're not paying attention in class. Like, you know, there, here's a punishment. No, it, it's, it's, I think a, a lot more, more Michael, I think of, of what the work you're doing, it can probably answer this question much better than we can, but definitely play. That's what, that's what learning is.